Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to try to fix three things on this in a short amount of period. One is one of the links is off here. One of these is off. Top of that, we still got a gummy key. It looks like. Okay, right there, this X is off, and um, the A has got a broken link, and the basket is loose. If you move this basket, you can see it wobbling front to back. Um, I've already inspected it pretty closely, and uh, a lot of times, um, sometimes when the basket is loose, you have to look at these pivots. These pivots down here. Check these pivots here, make sure they're tight, right here and here. And also, this shaft here that goes out to the frames, you gotta make sure those set screws didn't come loose, and they are not, they're tight on this one. Those set screws are way down in here, right about down where my finger's at on both sides, that side too. But they're good. What's wrong here is, uh, right here the, these slots that there's a little bearing in here I don't know how this got this way maybe it got jolted but right here these little brackets are loose or they need to be adjusted and that way it won't have that movement right there that movement right there that is not correct so it needs to be as tight as it can get without binding basically. So let's hook the uh, X-Link up here first. This is a pretty common deal. Um, I'm going to take the uh, lid off it here real quick. Get this out of the way. Probably should have done that already, but yeah, this machine was given to us because it had so many problems. And I'm determined to get it working. I love these towers. I love this Corona series of machines as everybody knows so we'll see if we can make this work today in a short amount of time because I don't want to put too much time in it. I already spent a bunch of time cleaning it which I probably should have waited to clean until after but but I didn't so yeah, it's a sloppy when the, when the type, you can see the basket moving. It shouldn't have that type of movement. And that's, you know, it probably would work like that, but it's not the right way. So let's do the X here first. Get the X up here. And we're going to uh, grab that link down here and straighten it out. Crooked as could be. Let's see, there's a letter right next to it. Here we go. So, you got to get a tool down here and first straighten the link out a little bit. Okay. And it looks like the clevis is still good, which is so there's the clevis right there. I'm just going to line it up with that and use this tool here. To uh, move the number three out of the way here. And we'll connect that up right there. Okay, X is back in order. A is a different story. The A is a broken link. These don't happen very often. Right here, these little link. That little link is missing right there. And, uh, so what I've done quickly is made a I had two different size paper clips. This one and this one. They're both jumbos, but one's a little thicker than the other. I'm going to use a paper clip to try it. If it holds, that's fine. So I made a link already. And then this side, hopefully I can connect this up and slide this in and then bend this up. If not, you have to take this fulcrum out and take this lever off and do it that way. But we're going to try it this way 
first. Let's see if the shortcut will work. So let's put this lever in there like that. And we're going to try to get in, in the hole, the bottom section here, which is going to be a tricky part, I think. Let's see if we can get the cue out of the way here. Yeah, that's going to be pretty tricky, but. done one of these in a long time and kind of just winging it here. Let's see. Oh, I'm pretty close. Pretty close to making it in there. Oh yeah, there it is. So it's poking through. And let's move this out of the way here. Hey. Let's see if I can get this to Okay, so now it's, it's in there. Now I need to bend that, that piece up. That arm. Let me get the other arm out of the way here. Whatever that is. Doesn't take fit. I'm gonna try a dry bending tool here. I've got this little bender. Let's see if I can get that in here. Give me some room. Well, it doesn't want to fit. Doesn't want to fit. This is gonna be a tricky, tricky job. Okay. All right, got it, got it started, which is good. Let's see if I can complete it. Oh, oh, it's bending, I think. Well, that's a, that's a tough fit in here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wow, it's almost there. I'm actually going to try to use that to get the rest of the way. Well, that's just my work. Let's flip this thing over and see. Besides, it's Now it's binding here. Yeah, that was just sticking a little, and they were all sticky in here. Every everything was sticky, but that's working. Okay, so one, two. We're gonna try to move this bracket way down here. 
there's some screws right right there where the light shine in that one screw in this little there's two more right there and I can already see they've actually been turned they, you know there there's little marks on them so they've been loosened before so let's do it again let's loosen it and get it right somebody's tinkering with this and didn't didn't do it right Okay, so you can see kind of that screw from this angle. It's right there. And then there's two more. One, two, and then the third one here. Let's see if these are That's loosened up. That one's loose. And the third one should loosen up here. And the third one is already pretty loose. So this bracket, I'm going to move it, you know, that way tighter. I'm just going to manipulate it somehow here. I'm going to try to work it over a little bit. See if I can get it to move. Some a little more. I was hoping to loosen them just a little bit and then force it over. Okay, it looks pretty loose now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That moved right over. Sure did. Okay, so now I've got it kind of where I want it, but I need another screwdriver to tighten up the screws. Oh, if this works, that'd be great. Okay, two out of three are tight, or semi-tight. The fourth one, or the third one, tightened up here. Wow, that did it. That, that worked. I mean, I think it might be able to be tighter. Because it's still really loose. I mean, as far as no binding. But there's very little movement here. I mean, not enough to, to worry. And now when you get the tight bar, the basket stays still. And actually, the pad's out of here, too, right now, so... Let me put the pad back in here real quick and everything will feel a little better. Alright. Oh yeah. Looking, looking good. I think we got it. All right. Oops. Still got sticky keys. This one's, this one's sticking right here at the, uh, the guide. still gummy. See that? So it's either gummy right there. Yeah, the segment was still gummy. I have flushed that pretty good. It's still still got some old oils in there. Alright, basket is secure. Much better. Links are connected. I'll have to look in to see why the E is a little low here. That shouldn't be. It 
shouldn't be that, that low. But that's fixable. Underneath here, everything came out all right. So that little A link is looking pretty good. I think I'll squeeze it together a little more. I think that'll hold. Alright, that's our uh, repair video today of a tower. I think we've got this. Oh, I know. What else it was? The shift motion is, is off now. So we can... No. Shift motion is almost perfect. Almost perfect. Not quite. We're going to make a quick adjustment to that. You <clears throat> probably seen this adjustment before. See stops right here. This one's a lowercase, so we're just going to loosen, loosen this nut. like that. Put a little nut driver. And turn that screw in just a quarter turn. That's enough. Perfect. Perfect. Looking pretty good. Okay. Can you accept better? Good day.